Ryan Steinekert with Ashley Brown of the Rich Rebels. Coach, last week a 2-0 and record against not the greatest competition, but did you get some value out of those games? You know, our younger kids got to play, which is probably the best thing that happened out of those two games. And then we were able to win, which we needed to do. So, you know, uh, other than that, probably didn't do us a whole lot of good other than the younger kids getting to play more than they had in a varsity game. I had Nick with nine blocks against Lyman. I shorted him one. He had a double-digit blocks. That was incredible. Yeah, you know, he did a great job. You know, he controlled the whole middle of the floor against Lyman. There's very few shots that Lyman took inside the key that, that he didn't get a hand on. And, you know, he just did a great job, and, and he makes it a lot easier on our guards when he's back there being able to help them if they get beat. Do you have any defensive strategies where you almost funnel guys to the middle and just let them see if they can take him on? We try not to just for the fact we don't want to get him in foul trouble. But, you know, he does a good job of helping in the middle. And then when we go zone, he's in the middle there where he can, you know, control the key and then also rebound. So, you know, he does a great job and he's a very good defender. He stays out of foul trouble and he's helped us a ton this year. As light as the schedule was last week, it gets that much tougher this week with a region game at Manila. What's so tough? Why is Manila such a tough place to play? You know, it's just different. Their gym seems a little darker to me that, you know, they, they're always excited to play at home. Uh, they're always excited to play us. So, you know, we know it's gonna, we're going to have to play a great game. And, you know, that game will probably be for first and second place, you know, going into the state tournament. So it's a huge game for both of us. And, you know, it should be a heck of a game. They've got some good athletes, and, and one thing that hurt them when they played here was guys getting in foul trouble. They had a couple foul out. I mean, that obviously can't be a game plan, but if you're attacking, you can try to force that issue. Yeah, you know, and that's what we didn't do in the first half when we played Manil here is, you know, we were very passive with the ball, and they were able to steal some passes that we threw because we were lazy with the ball. And so that's something we're going to have to make sure that we take care of, you know, and then we got to be aggressive on offense to try to get them in foul trouble. The last couple varsity games, Taviona and Lyman, you you really have taken care of the ball well. Is that because you're getting better at that, you're being more aware of that? Is that a little bit less pressure on the perimeter? What is it? You know, I think it's a combination of both. You know, they pretty much let you pass the ball where you wanted to and, and didn't put a whole lot of pressure on you. And, and then, you know, we're getting down to the end here, so hopefully kids are taking care of the basketball better. And, you know, so I think it's a combination of both of those things, and it's something that we got to make sure that we continue to do. What else do you feel like are specific things you've got to do at Manila to beat that team, the, the big Paulison inside, Jordan Lucio, and the other shooters? You know, I think the key is is to take care of the basketball. We were very careless in the first half, uh, and they got some easy baskets because of it. And then we have to rebound. You know, uh, the Lucio kid does a very good job on the offensive boards. He goes hard to the boards. So we're going to have to make sure that we rebound and take care of the basketball. And if we do that, hopefully we give ourselves a chance to win. Real briefly, a Saturday night you'll be at Westside. That's another tough place to play. Yeah, you know, it's never easy to beat them there. And, you know, and that's a game that we wanted towards the end just because we knew it would be good competition. And, you know, and we was able to make the schedule work. So we got two great games this week. And, you know, we're going to have to play well to compete in those games. Ashley Brown of the Rich Rebels, thanks for your time. Good luck this Friday at Manila. Okay, thank you.